Predators attacking and killing prey for food is the law of nature in the wild. We see it most often on TV shows, how the animals at the top of their food chain, like the big cats and alligators, attack and kill smaller and weaker animals in order to survive. But it's not always the case. Though very rare, sometimes the prey has had enough and counterattacks the predators, which do not end well for the beasts that generally get away with everything. In this video, we'll discuss the animals that attack the wrong opponents. Stay with us till the end of the video to watch how some weaker animals defeat the beasts that rule in the wild. Relationships between predators and their prey are extremely tight. It is possible for a wolf to exhaust itself chasing a deer that is only somewhat unhealthy, allowing the deer to get away. Although most raptors succeed in capturing their prey when diving, some don't always hit the mark. This is how it is in the system of nature. Here is a list of some incidents when the predators regretted attacking their prey. Crocodile attacks tigress and gets killed. Mockley is a tigress that is famous all over the world and admired by many. Before her demise, this female tiger was the oldest living wild tigress and went by several different names. Queen Mother of Tigers, Tigress Queen of Ranthambor, and Crocodile Killer. She was renowned for killing a huge crocodile in public, surviving for years with one eye, and fiercely protecting her children from the many other crocodiles in the area. This 12-foot-long mugger crocodile who tried to attack the tigress was killed by the tigress, who is famous for her hunting skills and strength. In 2003, the tigress lost two canine teeth in the fight. Mockley lived to the age of 19, exceeding the typical tiger's lifetime by over a decade. She also gave birth to an incredible four litters, totaling 11 cubs and greatly expanding the park's tiger population. Experts estimate that as many as half of the tigers in the park are direct descendants of her. The population and genetic variety of both parks benefited from the relocation of two of her cubs. The Bengal tigress lived out her days at Ranthambhor National Park, India, where she was the subject of countless photographs by park visitors. When the tigress queen passed away, she was given a proper Hindu funeral. Lions attacked the wrong new. An incredibly agile wildebeest pulled off an incredible escape. This poor animal is being chased by a pride of eight lions, and it feels like the end of the world. The breathtaking scenery of the Eastern Cape of South Africa is the setting for this footage shot at the Rhino Post Safari Lodge in Bonga Jajula. Wildebeests are a type of extreme antelope. If you have never seen one, try to picture something like this. They congregate in herds, primarily consuming grass on the African savanna's grass plains and bush-covered savanna. Wildebeests are related to buffalo and domestic cows. However, they are in danger of extinction for reasons unrelated to human activity. The bright side is that their population has expanded from 250,000 in 1960 to roughly 1.5 million in 2020. The wildebeest displays remarkable bravery and agility as it navigates a perilous situation, being sandwiched between a river and a pride of hunting lions. At first, they jump over two female lions, surprising the hunters and allowing them to escape by only a few feet. In slow motion, you can see that one of the lionesses tries to grab the wildebeest by also leaping into the air but she fails and gets kicked in the head and flung backward. The wildebeest is still being chased by the lions, abruptly changes direction, and darts into the river, crossing it before the predators can reach it. Once on the other side, it quickly clambers back onto the land and keeps running, with the lions close behind. It has outrun the rest of the pride, which is a remarkable feat in itself. Bald Eagle Attacks the Wrong Octopus In December 2019, off the coast of British Columbia, Western Canada, a bald eagle attempted to kill a Pacific giant octopus, but it ended up becoming entangled in the arms of the large mollusk instead. In other words, the hunter swiftly turned the prey. 
It is believed by scientists that this particular eagle did not plan its attack thoroughly and it was not intelligent enough to know how to release its grip or to make a kill, which resulted in the tables being turned and a nasty octopus attack. It was only after local fishermen intervened that the raptor was able to finally embrace freedom again. Alligator gets shocked by eel. When it attempted to catch an electric eel, an alligator received the most painful jolt of its life. The massive beast can be seen in an extremely uncommon piece of footage, slowly descending into the murky water that is located in unknown swamp territory. The alligator, on the other hand, begins severely trembling as it brushes past the eel. After coming to the realization that it had made a monumental error in selecting its meal, the alligator makes a frantic effort to get to the beach. However, when he finally makes it to land, the eel surprises him once more and gives him a severe electric shock. As the electricity travels through its body, the beast, which is a close relative of the larger crocodile, stands perfectly still. It was finally able to get away from the eel's grasp and make it to the shore. The shock shakes up the predator, yet it is still able to scramble away without suffering any significant harm. Leopard versus Porcupine There might be many causes of traffic delays, but a fight between a porcupine and a leopard has to rank among the most peculiar. There's an epic struggle going on as automobiles back up on this road on a peaceful wide plain. A leopard in front of the automobiles is attempting to snare a porcupine, but he isn't having much success. Although porcupines are generally peaceful creatures that avoid conflict, the one in this movie had to defend itself by resorting to violence. That's very standard. They are the world's third largest rodent and have been witnessed successfully fending off leopards and other large predators. What makes this video so out of the ordinary is the presence of human observers watching together with the two animals. The leopard looks confused at first, but it quickly begins to swipe at the porcupine with its massive paws. The courageous rodent stubbornly avoids the ferocious feline by repeatedly turning its back on it and spitting spines in its face. The porcupine does this to protect its vulnerable front end, which has no spines. The use of deception in this way is extremely efficient. Several spines break off and become lodged in the leopard's paws. It makes you as worried about the leopard as about the porcupine now. Keratin, the protein found in porcupine quills, is strong enough to puncture the thick hide of a leopard. The tips of the quills break off and remain in the flesh. This discomfort is unbearable and it could lead to an infection that could be fatal. Hunting is all about weighing the potential benefits against the potential costs for a predator like a leopard. It appears that the leopard, as he licks his injured paw at the end of the video, has decided that taking on a porcupine is not worth the risk as it walks away. This was all about the animals that attack the wrong opponents. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment below and tell us which one of these counterattacks by the prey animals on predators was the coolest in your opinion. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you've not yet subscribed to our channel, subscribe so that you never miss a video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.